Assad Shah was a shopkeeper in Scotland, and he was murdered in what appears to be a religiously motivated hate crime. So Assad is an Ahmadiyya Muslim. He was beloved by the community, as every article on this points out. And one of the things he'd do, just to show you his character here, is he'd print out uh, his own Christmas cards for his customers. So he was big on interfaith uh, solidarity, and in fact, hours before his death, he also wrote the following on Facebook. Good Friday and a very happy Easter, especially to my beloved Christian nation. Let's follow the real footsteps of beloved holy Jesus Christ and get the real success in both worlds. So this is uh, uh, clearly a, a good man across the board. Now, who killed Assad Shah? Well, this is a case where it actually was not, you know, a, a far-right fascist, a neo-fascist. And there is a rise uh, in the far-right in many places in Europe. So it would be understandable if one thought, well, that's probably who it is, because God, do they hate all Muslims. And they do. But no, in this case, you know who did it? another Muslim. It was a, a fundamentalist Sunni who's bigoted against Ahmadi Muslims, and he killed them. So this is, to be clear, anti-Muslim bigotry from within the Muslim community. Fundamentalist Sunnis looking at Ahmadis like, first of all, you're not a real Muslim. You're an apostate. Second of all, I don't like this whole interfaith dialogue thing, this old happiness with Christians, and maybe you might even like Jews. Gross. I must kill you. Guys, this is a bigger problem than many people realize. Like, take uh, uh, Pakistan, for example. There's a large uh, Ahmadi community in Pakistan. They are viciously and brutally repressed by the fundamentalist Sunni majority. There's anti-Ahmadi laws. One of the articles on this points out that it's fair to say that in uh, Pakistan, where they are, the Ahmadiyya Muslims are living effectively in an apartheid state. We covered a story not that long ago about how uh, an Ahmadi Muslim sold a book, I think it was a Quran, and they arrested him. <laughs> you're like, well, you're not allowed to do that. He's like, why can't I do that? Well, you're an Ahmadiyya Muslim. That's not, and they don't, again, they don't view them as Muslims. So, like, yeah, I don't know, you're an apostate. We're going to lock you up now. He sold a book. They're like, no. We must crack down on you because we're the good guys by definition and you don't count. Well, this is bigotry and intolerance and hatred 101. So, understand that the fundamentalists are the problem across the board. And there's even anti-Muslim bigotry from within the, the Muslim community. The fundamentalist Sunnis apparently dislike everybody in sight and... This is a heartbreaking story that demonstrates that.